Today we help you decide what RC car to buy next out of the ZD Racing EX07 Hoonigan vs Armour Felony. We do a comparison, go head to head at a racetrack and one catches fire. Coming up. We have a fire. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe. And I'm Amber. We're the RC Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel, we do everything from bashing, crawling, speed runs, unboxing reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. And in today's adventure, it is a comparison between the Armour and Felony <laughs> and the ZD Racing EX07. We're going to start off with the main differences between these two RCs. We're then going to take them out to an on-road race track here in Hong Kong and go head to head in a race, get a real world experience on how these two perform. And then we're going to come back and give you our opinion on these RCs and tell you why you would buy the EX07 instead of the Arm um, Felon. And guys, quick disclaimer, this is coming from an average user's point of view. We don't claim to be pros, we're just like majority of you sitting at home watching this video right now. Exactly. Now we're going to start off this comparison with the ZD Racing EX07 and its first major difference is, well, when you get this RC ready to run, it comes with the LiPo batteries and charger included. Now that's going to save you a lot of money because if you get the Felony, which is about the same price to buy, it does not come with the batteries and charger and that's going to set you back around well maybe $200 maybe even more if you go for the high end stuff especially if you went for the smart technology of the smart battery and smart charger. Another main difference is the EX07 has a brake module but if I'm honest we actually forgot it was even there and I guess it would be pretty cool if you got to practice with it and you knew how to use it properly. <laughs> also it has the working headlights which would have been a nice touch on the felony. We love the rainbow ones. Another difference between these two RCs is of course the bodies. Now with the armour you have more of a matte black finish whereas on the EX07 it's more glossy black. Now this is completely subjective as to which one you prefer the look of. For me I'm very much in the middle. Like, it's hard for me to decide. I think I'm leaning towards the EX07 but then at the same time the felony does look pretty mean. Another difference is the Felony has different size wheels at the rear compared to the front, I meaning it's also got different gear ratio at the rear gearbox compared to the front gearbox. On the EX07, the wheels are the same for all four wheels on this car, and they are different size compared to the Felony, they're slightly larger. So what does this mean exactly? Well it means getting aftermarket wheels for an EX07 will be easier when compared to the Felony because you are going to need two different size wheels for the front and for the rear. Now straight out of the box the Armour Felony is the fast one with its included high speed pinion. We got this one going 130 something kilometres per hour whereas the EX07 we got to 107 kilometres per hour. Now another big difference is the electrics that these RCs use. Now they both have 150 amp ESCs. The Armour Felony has a 2050 kV motor whereas the EX07 uses a 1900 kV motor. But the big difference here is that the components used in the Armour Felony are of higher quality and it has the smart technology. Now what does that mean exactly? Well if you have a Spectrum Smart battery and you use it in your Armour Felony, it's going to do some magic in there, send some information to your remote controller and the uh, Spectrum Smart app and it's going to tell you things like the speed of your car and the battery level remaining on your RC. With the ZDXO, you're not going to get any of that, it's just the basic electronics that they use. Another difference is the Armour Felony has AVC which is going to help with the stability of this RC, whereas the EX07 does not and that means it spins out a lot easier. And finally another difference between these two RCs is the ride height. With the EX07, it's sitting about three times higher than on the Felony. The Felony sits really nice and low, low to the ground and it helps with its handling. Now there are going to be other differences with this RC if you want to get all down to the nitty gritty side of things. We will have both of these RCs linked in the description down below so you can go check that out and read up on its specifications. But anyway look, that is enough talking. It's about time we take these out to a race check, get a real world experience on how these two perform side by side. We've just arrived here in TRC, Tom Racing Circuit here in Hong Kong. It is an awesome on-road track. There's actually three tracks I'll show you in a minute but man look at these guys. These pros, there's Amber. Amber's racing around in that pink one. Isn't she gotten good? 
Is the chick on good, guys? <laughs> over here, we've got another race track. This is for the smaller scale RCs. And then we've also got an indoor one over there. Amber, you're pretty good on that pink RC over there. Yeah, really good. Here we have it. Looks like there's no one in it at the moment. Now, before we get on here and do our race day, first we're going to warm them up. So let's go check what batteries we're going to be running. So, Amber, what batteries are we running today with the ZD Racing? So, today I'm going to be running these 5000 milliamp 35C discharge 3S LiPo batteries. And these actually come with the car. So, it does save you quite a bit of money on batteries as well. It sure does. And the batteries I'm running for the warm up anyway are our Spectrum batteries. Now, these ones are working. We did say earlier on we've had a lot of problems with our Spectrum batteries. Thankfully, so far, uh, these ones have been working pretty good. We've got two three cell LiPo 5000 milliamp 50C discharge and we brought a whole bunch more batteries for because we're going to need a lot of practice before we get into our race day. Remote on first and I'm going to make sure I don't make the same mistake that Joe did yesterday by turning the brake off and I remember that by pressing forward to go forward. Plug the batteries in and turn the car on. Well, it is time. It is time for the race day here at TRC. <laughs> it's going to be three races, possibly. Possibly, if there's a tiebreaker. We do two races, and if, if there's a tie, then we go for the third race, which is only one lap. For these first two races, it will be three laps. And I'm going to be on the Armour Felony first up. Amber is on the... Hoonigan, Hoonicorn, whatever. Hooligan, Hoonicorn. <laughs> I don't know, whatever it is. Someone will correct us in the comments below. I'm sure of it. And let's get into this race. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you? <laughs> I'm ready, give us the countdown, Amber. Everybody else ready? <laughs> <laughs> He's ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. And off we go. Lap number one. Remember, this is gonna be three laps. Oh. And Amber's got the lead, but for how long? I don't know. Probably not long. I suck. This is <laughs> the... You don't suck, Amber. You're not bad. You know, we're just beginners. Oh, yeah. Remember, we never claim to be pros. I, I, I say that in every race day video. <laughs> because I know that we're not gonna be that great. Oh. oh. But, yeah, it was doing pretty good though. You know what? I was absolutely Ooh. awful at this last time. Oh, oh, oh. you see that drift? You see that drift? Yeah, I'm not a very good drifter. Oh man, Emma's in the lead. I'm trying to go into slow. lap number two. Oh, we're on lap number two. How many laps are we doing? Two? Three laps, three oh. laps. I've still got a chance here to catch you. Oh, see, oh. I keep spinning out. Now, I've been, watch I'll be, I've been watching racing uh, tips and tricks videos on YouTube, but. It doesn't look like they're helping oh. me. Oh, Amber's GoPro's Go blowing bro. off. Keep I'll going, what are you doing? Oh, she wants to think? pause. Yeah, okay, pause I think quickly. we should pause. All right, we're back. Amber's got their GoPro back on. It might be destroyed. So this could be an expensive video. So don't forget to give us a like. All right, Amber. Okay, give us the countdown. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, I... Yeah, well, I've got the lead I'm now. Puffed. I've got the lead now, man. For now. Oh. 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 
Look at that, man. The felony is nice on the track. I do like it on the track. Oh. I do like drifting around. Yeah, you are actually pretty good nah, at getting some nah. of those corners. It's, it's luck. It is luck. Okay, so Amber, this time, just, just yeah. break, you know. See, I'm going slowly this time. <laughs> so I just break. But <laughs> I think it's cost you the race, Amber. Oh, I think it has cost you, know you the race. The only reason I really sped up there was so I'd beat you on that long straight. <laughs> and there we go. There we have it. I have won oh. race number one. Amber came in a close that was second, pretty close, close last. <laughs> close That's okay, last. it is time for race number two. Amber, you still have a chance to redeem yourself. Oh. Let's switch over cars. I'm bad on the felony, I'm really bad. So I'm gonna give us the Ooh. countdown for race number two. Three laps. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, 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 I've already scared it out. Oh, actually, you know okay. what? I think maybe I could get this one because you suck on the hoon again. Uh, yeah, Ho I, I, I have been pretty bad. Oh, I have been pretty bad on this. Uh, ZV EX07. I haven't had much practice on it. Come on. Oh, this could be a close Ooh, race, actually. I'm just, it, I'm just going easy here, man. Oh, here we go. Here's my chance. I took the inside corner, the inside. And I've taken first place. Oh. And Amber's skidding See, out. this is oh. me. Oh, oh, no, I've had a crash. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, see, guys, this video is for entertainment versus it. <laughs> purposes. What level are we on? You guys are watching oh, no. how bad we are. What level? <laughs> Amber, this is horrendous. We might have to do this. We might have to do this again. No, just because you're about to lose. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. We're on lap number two. Hey, no. Oh. Okay, I'm going to try a little bit now. Let's oh my go. gosh, how am I so far behind Let's now? Go. Don't crash, Amber. We don't want to stand ahead last <gasps> time. Oh, oh my. Oh, what is oh. Amber up to? I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe we need to do this race again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I tell you what guys, this uh, ZD Racing EX07 is what? an awesome car, I'm loving oh it, my as I enter the final lap of race number two, it looks like I've got this race in the bag. It's both this completely, I think the big difference between these two is the turning circles are both completely different. It is different, I feel that the servo on the armour is definitely better, even though they rated the same kilogram, yeah. I feel that it's just better man, I feel like the ZD Racing servo is rubbish, that is one thing I would definitely recommend upgrading immediately. In fact, I'm going to have to order one very soon. Oh, how uh, did but you? look at this, I have managed to win race number two. No. And race number one, which means oh. I am today's race day winner. There we have it. <laughs> there we have it. But guys, no. if you own a felony or you're looking to get one of these uh, ZD Racing, you're not going to be disappointed. And make sure you take it out to your local race track if you've got one. Don't be shy. There were pros on this before. And uh, I think they've left or they're chilling. They're watching us, laughing. <laughs> watching us. We had so much fun. Anyway guys, we're going to go home now and give you guys our thoughts on these two RCs and tell you why you would want to buy the ZD Racing over the uh, Armour Felony. Man, we always have so much fun when we head out to race tracks here in Hong Kong. That's what's so good about Hong Kong when it comes to RCs. There's a loads of different tracks of different varieties. You've got the off-road buggy track, you've got on-road street tracks, there's quite a few around Hong Kong. You've got drift tracks, you've got mini Z tracks, you've got all kinds of tracks. And that's one awesome thing about Hong Kong and RC. But Amber, it looks like you're going to be doing those dishes tonight because I managed to get the win for race day. Now, before we give you our opinion on these two RCs and whether or not you should be buying the EX, uh, EX07, first I want to show you a video clip from last night. Now, to set the scene for you, this happened after our race day. We came home and we had a couple of these batteries, these Turnergy 5000 milliamp 6 cell LiPo batteries, 70 to 150C discharge. And of course, you don't want to have fully charged batteries lying in your house because they are a danger and you would want to put those down to storage charge. Well, if anyone knows, storage charge does take a very long time and to set one of these massive barriers storage, storage charge would take far too long. So I decided to take this RC downstairs and go for a bit of a run and I went live on Instagram. So while I was live on Instagram, an event happened with this RC. So we managed to get the first battery down, the 6 cell LiPo down to, to about storage voltage. I then plugged in the other one and used a little loop on the other side, so because of course you're only going to be running one of these. Um, and well, it caught on fire. The ESC went up in flames. And then I'm not going to pretend like I'm an uh, electrician and I know what's going on there. It just went up in flames. Now it was 21 degrees outside. I was driving it sort of on and off, having decent brakes, answering questions on Instagram Live. I did have my te temperature gun with me and I was checking the temps periodically. And it never got really hot. The ESC got to about 62 degrees Celsius and the motor, I think from memory, is around in the 50s. So nothing crazy. And uh, well, here we go. Go ahead and watch the clip. Guys, we have a fire. We have a fire. What's the... Oh 
No. Look at that. Look at that. No way. Oh no. Yep. That just happened. Now I've sent all the information to Makeify and to ZD Racing, the manufacturer of this RC. Now they didn't want me to publish this video, but I said, come on man, we're the RC Kiwis and we keep it real on this channel and we are going to be posting this video within 24 hours from that email sent. So here we go. I've posted the video. I think it's important for you guys to see what happened with our products. Now it could be that we just had a faulty ESC, we got unlucky. It could be that running a single six cell LiPo of this power is not recommended. I'm not too sure. They're running tests. They're going to have an answer uh, for us by the end of the week. And then we're going to share that answer with you guys on our YouTube community page, on our Facebook page, and on our Instagram page to keep you guys in the loop. If I had the option between buying the Armour Felony or the ready to run version of the EX07, which one would I buy? Well, with no question at all, I would go with the Armour Felony. It's a trusted, well-known brand. There is a large sample of these RCs all over the world and they've proven to be doing really well. It's a very popular RC. And so without a doubt in my mind, I would go with the Armour Felony all day long. So what about the ZD Racing? Starting off with the good, I think it's a really nice looking RC and I found it quite easy to drive on the track and with a speed run. And if you watch our videos, you will know that I actually struggle with speed <laughs> on the track and with the speed runs. But I felt quite confident with this one, which is different for me. Also, it comes with batteries and I think that's a really nice touch. And now the bad, well, first off, the servo in this RC is absolutely rubbish. It's completely rubbish. It's too slow. It's too weak. It is the first thing that I would recommend upgrading and we've already ordered a new servo for this and we'll share that in a future video when we do an upgrade video for this RC. The second thing is, well of course, we already mentioned it, it's the ESC. Now is that just a one-off? Not going to know. As we mentioned, we're going to be updating you guys very shortly. And uh, we already ordered a Max 6 to put in this RC, so that should help increase its speed. And finally, the diffs. I just found that the tail end was spinning out a little bit for me. So I think it, the diff uh, fluid could do with a bit of tuning. Now is that a noob trying to blame diff fluids for him not being able to drive an RC? Yeah, well, probably yes it is. But I'm going to try it anyway. I'm going to tune, play around with the diff fluid and see if I can get this thing performing a little bit more to my liking. So in conclusion, if you've already got some three cell LiPo batteries in charger, and you got a bit of money, then yes, I would absolutely go with the Armour Felony. If you're a little bit tighter on cash, maybe you don't have the batteries in charger, then what are you doing looking at this? Get yourself a slash and start there. But if you really do like the look of this RC, and maybe you already own a felony or an infraction, then this is a perfect RC to get to compete against the, the infraction or felony at the racetrack. But what I would do is, I would go for the kit version, because the kit version comes with everything we love about this RC, and it doesn't include those electronics that are a little bit iffy, and it gives you the ability to customize it to your liking, exactly like we're going to be doing very soon when we put on a Max 6 into this beast, and put in a much better servo into it. Now, if you are wanting the ready to run version I would hold off a little bit at least until we hear back from ZD Racing or you can wait until other channels have their review videos out there so you can see what they have to say. And if you've already ordered the ready to run version don't panic don't panic you've got options like you could get yourself a different ESC to prevent your RC going up in flames or just be very cautious and make sure you keep checking those temperatures periodically and having good breaks between switching out battery packs. Now coming later this week we're going to be doing the upgrade video for this car so if you don't want to miss that make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And if you enjoyed today's video and you got some value make sure you go ahead and you hit that like button and hey remember make sure you go check out theashikiwis.com get yourself a nice polo top to take to your racetrack get yourself a nice hoodie get yourself a nice cap. Hey remember guys make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures with the RC Kiwis and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.